Um, my reflection is more around that we have to stop talking about housing because it evokes lumber and nails and and maybe talk, start talking about shelter or something where we remember that really what we're talking about is, is people, families, communities. Um, Oakland is experiencing this displacement crisis and a fear of displacement crisis. We've seen um, our median rents increase 25% while income has increased only 5% in the last couple of years. And so, you know, when I hear these stories, like uh, the football coach at Castlemont High School lost five of his players in a single year, in a single season. Because when someone loses their ho housing in Oakland, they cannot find new housing in Oakland. I have a city where the majority of the people who currently live in my city could not afford to move into my city. So for the people who have not been di displaced, everyone is living with a fear of displacement as they see rents around them go up and know what they're paying. And yet the market forces, um, it, it is unreasonable for people to see how much money they can make on a new vacant apartment and be stuck with a different rate of return. And so there is something that is seriously broken. <clears throat> but I do hope that we continue to think about people. The disruption to a family that loses their housing it is just devastating. And so um, I think traditionally we've always thought just about building more, <clears throat> and this is a more complicated problem than that. So I thank you for the leadership. Um, again, Steve, you did well on choosing your co-chairs, and um, I look forward to uh, having the political will and strength to take on some of the sacred cows and to have a really authentic and brave conversation about, I mean, this is not just the future of the Bay Area. This, I mean, we are the economic engine for California and arguably the country. And so we've got to get this right. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Schaff. So we're going to start on this side of the room. And